Welcome back to another episode of Kicking It With The Brothers. Uh, it's your boy, ML, and always with our guy. Doesn't matter where he is, uh, but he is, for now we will call him Charles the Champion, El Champion. Little is here. He is on in the streets. You know what? When we say we in the streets, this is what we mean by in the streets. Outside. Charles, congratulations, brother. Y'all are outside, man. Y'all are outside. I'm glad you was there for the experience. Outside. Um, yeah, man, it's been a good, been a good week. Um, they, you know, contrary to what they've been saying on the internet and you know, I've been hearing, they said there were no Barcelona fans at Espanol on Sunday. That is incorrect. Your boy was in the house. Yes. Uh, was not no Barca guy. I was not dressed in all black, like a reverend. Uh, what it was, it wasn't fucking around with the people though. It was all blue. I didn't see a single bar, like I nothing. So it was a wise decision of me to not even try to like, try to try to be tough. Keep it real. I wore some all black, kept it moving. Um, but great stadium. Um, great, great stadium over there, Espanol. Um, good vibe. My boys got ran off the field. I had to I had to sit there and not react though. My man, my people, I'm glad we scored early, uh, got it out the way. So I, I wasn't tense, so I wasn't like yelling at nobody or nothing. So um, because you know, I was I was sandwiched with all I, I did a couple couple left, couple rights. It wasn't first off, wasn't no black people there, so I was really asked out, but um <laughs> <laughs> with no, with no, uh, with no, with no fans either. So, um, but it was still crazy though. You know, get to one has some has some good seats. So I had a really good view of the game, and um, Frankie is a monster. But this is like I said, just to be there, watch my watch my boys uh win the league, man. It was a good vibe. So, I mean, that was just Sunday, and then um, you know, Monday to have the parade. Uh, just parade was top of people. wasn't so, Tuesday. Huh? They had it ready, huh? On Monday, huh? Oh yeah, on deck. Um, uh, so I had to, I had to lie, I had to lie, you know, lie to my job, tell him I had a, had a, had a hair, uh, had a like a doctor's appointment. I forgot what I told him, but I told him something. So no man, no man, yeah, so, you know, extended mm-hmm. lunch, all good. Um, but I had to get to where I had to get to. Uh, and then you know, obviously, like the the the, the parade at the Arc de Triomphe, man, like what a vibe, like dude, like on it, like the you know the the prime video, Javi on the bus. Like I'm right there. I got I'm well we outside. It, it was a good time. Uh, you know, people doing the chairs, people climbing uh light poles on the street signs, man. It was, it was you know, Barca fans of all ages, color, you know, you, you know, sports bring that diversity out. So, you know, just Barca fans everywhere, man. It was it was it was a it was a real good time. Uh yeah, man. Just been just been riding the wave, dude. Got my flag on, got my got my championship shirt on. You know, I had to celebrate those who couldn't make it, you know, Bobby Yang still, you know, collecting dust. Over at Chelsea, but you know, we finally got him his first first league title. Uh, Memphis Depay, appreciate the contribution. Uh, Hector Bellerin, your fashion goes on is, is missed. Um, PK, I don't know where you at, fam. Pull up. Um, yeah, man. A lot of folks. We outside, man. We outside man. man. That's great, man. So, job. Oh my bad, oh, my bad. Clement Longley, where to get that Odegaard? Shout out to you. Oh, come on, come on, guys. Um, please respect him. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Well, that's where we are right now. Excited for you, and uh, I mean, obviously sad for, her, but you know, you happy as as bros over sometimes yeah. at least just the teams, man. That's the, like to be at a parade for your squad and the way that you bleed for Barca is, is phenomenal. It's great. It's great. And then, so we got Real Sociedad on Saturday. That's gonna be a party. We get. I'm, I'm at. I'm at that game. It's, that's gonna be lit. We getting a trophy finally. We didn't get. We haven't. We ain't got the trophy yet. That's right, because they ain't giving uh, to you the honor yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get a little guard of honor, man. We're gonna get man. It's, we outside. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be lit on on Saturday too. So they gave you the um, the trophy on Saturday, not the last day. We get it Saturday. That's great. That's great. And that's gonna be another party. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. They, no, the, their last game of season's on the road. It's at like Vigo. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, so, so this weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. take yeah. care of them at the crib. There's only, there's only two. There's only, only got two home games left. Got you, got you. Well, uh, we know who the uh, Spanish domestic champions are. Uh, unfortunately, the the arch rivals of FC Barcelona. Hi, boys. What a week for me. What a week for me. Week for you, what a week for <laughs> you and Char- you and uh, Carter. He'll be joining us in a couple of weeks. Our boy Carter Elliott. Uh, we can we will be very soon calling him champion. Uh, actually, he is. They are the reigning champs of the uh, league's Premier League. But City is now one step closer to it is elusive 
uh, Champions League title, the last one, the last trophy that they have not raised ever in the history of the club. After yesterday's debacle, after yesterday's performance, I think the performance of the season, right? Manchester City, four, Real Madrid, nil. Uh, and very one-sided, I'd say, in the first half. Uh, I think things were over for me mentally when I saw Kyle Walker literally going step by step with Vinny. I'm like, oh, that's the only chance we have. And like, no, Kyle Walker had him tucked I'm in. Figure, I'm trying to figure out how they, how they ain't got how England just missed getting Kyle Walker in the track. <laughs> Kyle Walker, like, like he like all sports fast. Like, he unbelievable. Is, like all sports fast, and he's like thirty something. Like he, he like ain't like he young no more. Running with that 21-year-old boy, like, step by step, <laughs> like, I've only seen it happen a couple times. There's Big Ron and there's Kyle Walker. Everybody else has got that work by Benny yeah. Jones. Um, especially, you know, the rivals of in Liverpool. Uh, Trent, no chance. But, Charles, yesterday, I'd say this week, let me, we'll get into Arsenal a little bit, but I'm, obviously, you're sad that you can't repeat as champions mm-hmm. of Europe, and that's like, You know, it's Madrid's cup. You know, that's how we feel about it. And, but yesterday was revealing. It was very good because it's exactly what we talked about and about where Madrid used to reinforce in the uh, the middle of the pitch. I cannot believe that he decided to play Tony Kroos and Luka Modric in the same team against the best midfield in the world. Like, this is what it is. Definitely best in England, depending on the day. Your boys are up there, too. Um, but that's what happened. And they got ran off the pitch. They don't have the legs. I, I was surprised at it. Maybe you bring on Luka Modric for 70 minutes. I think he should have been benched. Move Kamavinga into the midfield just so you have some legs. Kamavinga, Chuamini, Valverde, and then you can figure it out. And then just right. if you need to play five in the back, I thought tactically Carlo got outmatched. I think Pep also, you know what it is. Like, many times you, somebody wants to get their get back, Bro, he still he probably had it played in his head. Rodrigo scoring twice in stoppage time last year in this in literally the same spot. The only thing was flipped is that Madrid um was at the Bernabeu the first time and City was at the Etihad now the second time. This type around. They played possessed. They played very similar to what I saw in unfortunately for me, my squads. Very similar to what they did against Arsenal. And what I mean by that in terms of the energy, it was relentless. And I think they told themselves, if we do what we need to do for these first 30 minutes, they can't play with us. Um, best performance. Uh, I think Craig Burley said it best in the ESPN FC. That was Manchester City's best performance since I've been watching Pep Guardiola at uh, the ATI. One, well, this is why I – said previously like this is why i think having the your home leg be the second leg is the better way to go with it um because i don't think you know i think that's why what happened last year and what happened this year happened Mm -hmm. um this just goes to show that like and you know even arsenal's you know collapse i'm not even pointing fingers at the moment to make the joke i'm just saying like in these times (laughs) you start to see like you know these higher level bro you gotta have like you got to be, you got to have the players. You got to have 15, 16 guys that can go. Like, if you really want to fight, if you want to fight on all fronts, it just shows like the level of squad depth you got to have. Um, you know, if you're going like, if it's like, a, you know, Real Madrid's a, a top level club, like they got a Copa. And sometimes it's like that's because, like, but like, because if, you know, if you didn't got the squad depth, like, dude, you're, you know, if you ain't got, if you ain't got 16, like that, that shit gets real thin. Like, you guys are out there with like players that just, ain't up to snuff and like I think the bigger issue is like you're talking about like why do you put uh Cruz and Madrid out there together I think that speaks to like how he don't trust the other ones yeah and a manager's at some point like this you and I've had this conversation because of Pep we've been noticing the last three years bro just do, you never know what your best 11 is and, and and honestly he's just gotten lucky on it but the last I actually thought this was the most confident that he's been in a semifinal ever and there's a reason why, like, I mean, we thought that he would go with uh, Mares on the right, but man. But he's been playing, a, but he's been playing at 11 pretty. That's what, but that, I mean, 
I think this is one of I think Halan really make that's and that might be it too. He makes it now easy. they have like but yeah, now there are more spots. There's just another person up front that like their spots locked. Yeah, that's right. Really, they're only really they're really only options to change people on the wings. You can go with Foden or which or Mars. Like those are the only two people he's flipping there. KDB spot's good. Gundogan's spot is locked now. So you know what I'm saying? Like they're only yeah. huh? And and Rodri. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, these are people like they're guaranteed starters, because it's not even like who in the midfield, like they don't have a bunch of midfielders though. That are like their backup midfielders are Calvin Phillips, and I'm I'm not putting Calvin like I'm gonna put Calvin Phillips up. up. I don't even know if Calvin Phillips is good because I never seen him play. Um, he's on the national team, so I guess he's decent, but that's my only indication. Yeah. Um, but you get what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying, like they're not going to. He's not going to rotate the midfield that much. The problem is, anytime he was running out these lineups that we hated, it was always the front three, and the front three is pretty much. Halan takes up one of those spots that they were rotating and throwing Raheem and this and like trying when he was just trying to figure shit out. He figured it out because one, one, you know what I'm saying? Like one's locked in, it made everything else balanced. So I like I feel like every time I watch them play, they damn near have this this lineup is just you know it's Ake in there over a Kanji or, or some you know some switch. They're healthy. Like that, but for the they're healthy. Part, yeah, I'm just saying for the most part, man, yeah, nobody's been like they're they're running out that squad. Like that's I I expect that to be. Unless he puts Ake out there in, in the final, but that's pretty. That's probably gonna be the only change if they do make one. Right, that's the deal. But but obvious they ran with the Kanji and you know Kyle Walker has only played two Champions League matches in February since February. Um, yeah, and but he what he had to do there. Everybody stayed ready to be ready. I think what is taking them to another plateau is we're like, oh yeah, we just gotta let everybody know what we are, and. Sometimes you just need that extra motivation. And Pep was like, nah, our, Mikhail, you're not ready. And we're going to show you that you're not ready and put it really on you. Pause. Uh, and then what Pep's also said afterwards, he, he says, in quote, we can finally visualize the treble. He wanted this one bad. Have you ever seen him turn and look at the at the uh, crowd only five minutes into the game? And he's like this, oh, like. Oh, like, this is different. I think that's a, that's the right opponent at the right time. I wanted my get back. But he want like I'm saying, like I I expect for people like you gotta say Pep been battling Real Madrid since he was ten. Yeah, that's another thing, right? You know it's like it's, it's yeah. like it's real. Like so, it's like when he told when his like he talking about getting his get back. It's like that shit. You know, for that to happen to them last year, it hurt everybody on the team. But yeah. for him, I'm sure it hurts the most because it's fucking Real Madrid. Like it's like you know what I'm saying. So like him, get, yeah, dude, he in that shit because he wanted it's deep. It run deeper. It's deeper than rap. Quick game. Buyers or keep, sell or loan. Very quickly. We're I going to the Madrid squad. My bad. You keep him. Uh, he's amazing. So keep him. Yep. All right. So keep. Alaba. Keep Rudiger right. or do something with them. Rudiger, keep. Rudiger, yeah, these are all good squad players. Militao, Militao. Keep. keep right. Carver Hall, yeah. For how much longer? Bench. Bro, Braska is like, yeah, your bench. No, he can be somebody's backup. He can be somebody like they're, they're fine being somebody's backup. Keep him for like three minutes. like Marcel, like they need, they, they need to be, yeah, they need to be squad players, like. Dude, like on um, when when they're playing, uh, you know, Alaves, go, go have a ball. Yeah, right, exactly. You, know like, you, you need those people, like Modric. Um, who else we got? Modric. Uh, keep for one more year. At one best. more year. One more year. Tony Cruz as well. Yeah, my. I mean, he he ain't the problem. If you put him like he's like much like I, I if you put him out there with. If he if he was the only one out there with the young bulls, he'd be fine. Who, Tony? Uh, my, my yeah, no, my even. I think either one of them would be fine. You just can't have them out there together. I've been saying that the whole time. So he has to figure out how to start two of many Jude and just one of those other two, at best. Yeah, yeah. Or Valverde, do you just was, yeah, like? Yeah. I mean, we for all the shit we want to talk about why they run the midfield up. The only person that got close to scoring yesterday was Tony Cruz. Oh, yeah, that was a great shot, too. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're absolutely not wrong. That was a great ball. Uh, and maybe that could have changed the game. But it's like you need those things to happen against City to stay in the match. 
Benny, you keep obviously Ben's. He's on his last keep, one or two years. Keep, keep, keep. But they got the the main. The problem that you guys have is that you're not. It doesn't seem to me that you're like moving forward with yeah, the team. It's just right. like it's. Um, I was trying to find a way to like be like you guys are kind of like the Warriors, but you're not. So, um, no, but, shit. you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to train. You're trying to like keep certain players while transitioning into this new phase, and it's like. Some dudes like maybe yeah, Ben's got to be honest with you. Maybe Ben's is the closest thing to Steph. Just because no, no, no. But I'm just saying though, it's not even that. He he doesn't he, and it, Barcelona had the same problem. Like they sh- he shouldn't have to play 37 of the 38 fucking league games for them to be like, you know I what I'm saying? Like, yeah. thir- like play 30 of them and be healthy and like rested for these games and like stuff like that. Like he he's not he should be at that point. Like he shouldn't have to like I just think like they don't even have anybody like who's their backup striker? Like like as much as like we, we make fun of it, like Hazard's just taking up a fucking roster spot. He's gotta go. They, they need to retool. I'm just saying, I, like, I think people... Flo has failed this team. I really do. I think it's also because I think we became a little bit too how should I say it's not cocky, it's just that they stopped being ruthless. I think after the Champions League and the anytime you win a double the year before. It's almost like a, a runway. And I don't know whether he was trying to just make sure the books are right, because I think he was maybe so disappointed with Mbappe. But this team may need Mbappe and you. They're going to have to do something. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think the attack, I think they could use an extra attacker. I, I don't, I still, yeah. I, Rodrigo, Rodrigo is not, you know, I really like, you guys have, you, and you really, at that point, like you're just thin. You got, I guess you got four defenders back there that are decent. Hmm. Like it's just like I there's a lot of spots where you guys are, are thin. I'm like I'm I got now that I'm really thinking about it, you really have three attacking players on your whole team. Okay. Yeah. You know, like really, like um uh, does the other dude still play for you guys? Mariano? Is that his name? Yeah, he's still there. Probably gotta sell him though. Just to get somebody to buy like the, the, the Barca B to the, the <laughs> we, just, we just need <laughs> we need squad. I'm just saying though, squad like man. but I'm but I'm just saying like he's your fourth attacking player. Like this is like what what are you what if you guys have no if you, like and much that like you guys are a a Benny Benny's healthy. I'll give him that that motherfucker play all the time. All well, time. you guys are a Benny hamstring from, from like you guys are a Benny hamstring injury from like not being able to score for a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that, there's reinforcements that are needed, and it's you got to get younger than midfield. I think that's number one. Uh, number two, I'm fine with the back line. That's fine. Back line and uh, maybe one CDM. Lose a cast, hurt, just somebody who can right. beat. Like, you know, with Rodri, that's another thing that people don't realize is, like, also there's championship pedigree that, that walked out the door. Uh, True many has got to improve quickly, quickly. And what? Can Andrew play next year? No, nah, I doubt it. I think I he's one two years. He's 24. I'm saying he's not even – is he even coming to the team next year? It'll be there next year? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, that's my thing with, with you guys and your whole buying strategy. It's like, oh, if y'all got so fucking bougie. It's like if it don't cost $100 million, you don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flo be on that shit. But Flo, I, I think the scouts like, are getting – You know, y'all could have just got – I'm just saying. Y'all could have got Cody. Like, all them teams, like, as much as they ain't trying to spend – like, Tom, I think trying to spend. It's like, but you motherfuckers are trying to spend $200 million to get Mbappe, bro. That means you could have got Gakbo – well, you could have, you know what I'm saying? You can be in running for some of these other fucking players that you're just looking at and not not trying to do anything for. But I had Gakbo and Mo Salah, if we're being honest. Was Mo was just, you know, but I'm just saying, though, just throw some money. Like, you guys ain't trying, like, why, why? I ain't never heard of y'all trying to get Harry Kane. Like, like really trying to get Harry Kane. Like, as soon as that shit was, what Mbappe did, I'll turn that money straight around. What's good? Yeah, 130 and just make it happen. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, City, they got him in trouble. Um, I mean, we were talking about their lineups earlier. The one thing is, I'm pretty sure that was because Pep's Pep, and I, I appreciate it about him. He's going to start Mars and Foden in the in the FA Cup because that's who he's been playing. And remember, Mars had a, a hat trick last in the semifinals, so they're going to play. Um, but I mean, big Norway, so they'll be out there. So, um, I, I think they'll be fine. Um, that's the only game I think that's they're getting the tripped best up. Chance, obviously, right. To, yeah, obviously they're gonna win the league. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think fucking Milan stands a chance. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna be like it's the only game because maybe like yeah, they can just get got 
anything can happen. I think I think United's got and United hasn't really played a serious game in a while, but they haven't played well in forever either. So um yeah, that's the only chance I see them getting tripped up. Do we know who who's the home team for the Champions League final yet? Well, it's the it's Istanbul. No, I'm saying who's the home who's wearing their home kit? I, oh, that's I'm a great super question. interested in Oh no, only because here only we because go. City's fucking City's second kit is red and black. They win the Champions League and the, and the colors of their of their fucking rivals. It's gonna be hilarious. I will I will oh my god crack that's... jokes for days. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure out. I'm not sure because it, well City won their group. I don't know if they do it that way. We'll have to look I don't it up. Know. I just, just, know, sure I just know Andrew's gonna and Andrew's obviously gonna want to wear their stripes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they're and they're rocking the no the no sponsor jersey too, which I kind of like. Yeah, that's crazy. Lukaku has a chance to get Champions League final, which is nuts. To get like in Italy, who? Um, Inter's looking good though, but they ain't got nothing for City. They ain't got nothing for City, bro. Like they're scrappy. Like Italian football is just more scrappy to me. It's like it's not like they're playing more physical. They're just like. Dudes are just throwing it, like life and limb. It's like just stop these balls and stuff. It's just, but like they're not. I'm pretty like I think City's gonna just like just. I don't even think City's gonna have to play well to beat them. That's I think if City just plays, I think if City just plays City football, I think they'll just like the, what I watched the other day was I'm like, there are so many passes that are there to make. It's just like I said, the time in football is just dudes like just getting a foot on the ball here, a foot on the ball there, just like barely stopping. I'm like, no, nah, like. They'll they'll hit people like work. I they could get ran, bro. Like it could get bad, but I think they'll be up. I think it'll be a city game. I think they'll be up two nothing in within forty minutes. And I think Halan's gonna score at least once or twice. And I think he's gonna be I don't think they're ready for him. I think I think he a different animal than what they oh, yeah. with over there in Italy. <laughs> I yeah. think he like as good as young Victor is, he ain't he ain't that machine. He ain't terminated. No, 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 no. So I think I think I think if inner even if they sit in a low block, I don't think they're like and and it's like why at the same time it's a fucking Champions League final. Are you are you really gonna like sit in a low block and like not and not play to win? So, yeah. but even then, I think I don't think I think they'll get broken down even then. Like I, I, I it's not good. I think it's gonna be easy work. Last question for you. Alvarez has a chance to not only win the World Cup and then the domestic treble. If he does that, does he go to Pep and be like, listen, either I got to start or you got to go? Because at what point more can you do? Who cares about going back to back? Back to back, though, is it, in Europe, isn't like, it's not as valued as that, man. Like, they people like celebrate seasons. Like, when, when he scored yesterday, I was seriously considering, I'm like, if he had played all season and they just swapped his time, like if he had played as, as many minutes as Halan played, I don't think he would have broken the record, but I think he'd be like these last four games. That's the thing they would be playing for is trying yeah. to get him the records. I think he'd have like 27 or 28 goals right now. Like something like that. Wow. Okay. He's special. He'd be like, he did you, they can sit there and say he fumbled and bumbled it, but like the motherfucker went like eighty yards in the fucking in the World Cup and like in the World Cup semifinal. Yeah, he's he's incredible. And he's only like what, like he's like twenty two. Like yeah, like somebody like I heard, I heard you know he could be needed, um, but um, you know, he can get get a loan out. I thought you know I wouldn't sell him if I was them, but. That or he needs to figure out a way to play them like together. I think, like, I think I still, and I've said this earlier in the season, I think whenever he can, like, may, it may be Gundogan leaving will, will make it to where he can make it kind of work. But if he can ever figure out how to get him, Halan, and KDB on the field at the same time, it's, it's, that's when it's really, that's when they're going to run out. They're, they're going to get 100 points. Yeah. With that squad. Yeah, that's it. When we come back with all our crew, it's going to be crazy. We're going to celebrate City's most likely league title next week. We're going to talk about the future of Barcelona for them to be on Manchester City's level, Who, who, what they need to do, because it feels like they're maybe the closest thing to it um, for the moment. And then also, we're going to pick our Premier League team of the season and players of the year. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. 
Charles, lasting thoughts. I will, not have a single, I will not have a single Arsenal player on all my squad. Nasty. That's I'll tell nasty. you that shit right now. That's nasty. Possible. It's possible. That's nasty. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, congratulations, brother. We proud of you, man. Proud of your proud of your squad. Uh, and you know what? I mean, Dion, he loses out on his boys uh with the Warriors. Yeah, but sorry, man. Clearly, he didn't lose out with Barcelona. He just keeps getting getting trophies. We outside, so, man. There it is. We out.